From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. And good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on your statewide new news. I'm Andrea Lutz. This afternoon, President Biden is condemning Republican efforts to restrict to voting access, calling it the most significant test of our democracy since the Civil War. More than a dozen states have tightened their voting laws since the 2020 election. Ed O'Keefe is at the White House. The 21st century Jim Crow assault is real. It's unrelenting. And we're going to challenge it vigorously. Speaking from Philadelphia, the birthplace of American democracy, President Biden forcefully attacked voting restrictions being enacted in more than a dozen GOP-controlled states. Stand up for God's sake and help prevent this concerted effort to undermine our election and the sacred right to vote. Have you no shame? The White House hopes the president's speech will jumpstart a push for new federal voting rights legislation. But the bills he wants passed can't clear the closely divided Senate unless it abolishes the filibuster. The president also directly addressed unfounded accusations embraced by former President Trump that Democrats stole last year's presidential election. The big lie is just that, a big lie. The speech came as more than 50 Democratic state lawmakers left Texas in order to stop debate on GOP elections law changes. The motion fails for lack of quorum. They spent their first full day in Washington pushing the Senate to pass voting rights legislation. We're just hoping to move the needle a little bit more. We're hoping that um, Congress would understand the urgency. This is about Americans. The group met with Vice President Harris and supportive Senate Democrats. What's happening in Texas by the GOP legislators and governor is just outrageous. But Republicans continue to dismiss their D.C. trip as a political stunt. It's disingenuous and a downright and downright false to claim that any effort to prevent fraud is a veiled attempt at voter suppression. And while Texas's governor threatened to arrest the Democrats, they said they're not concerned. We would not go to jail. The Republican-controlled Texas House has ordered state law enforcement to retrieve the Democrats, while the Texas Rangers have no enforcement powers outside the Lone Star State. If those Democrats return to Texas during the special legislative session, they could indeed be rounded up and brought to the state capitol in Austin and made to stay there until official business is completed. Ed O'Keefe, CBS News. The White House. Okay, let's switch it on over to weather. There's our um, Miller Robson. He's tracking what's happening outside. Yeah, today. well, you know, the big story is the smoke, of course. Uh, it's a lesson just a little bit. We'll tell you more about that here in just a second. Let's take a look at those nice temperatures right now across the state and also uh, northern Wyoming. We're looking at the 70s and 80s. Pretty much dry out there with lots of sunshine, maybe a few little showers still kind of hanging, hanging around on the eastern side of the state. There you go, there's your smoke. Now, it's pretty light out there, but uh, we're looking at light to moderate smoke in western Montana, including Libby, uh, Thompson Falls down to Superior, also in uh, northwest Wyoming, around Yellowstone, over to Cody, and across the central and southern Bighorns. And we're gonna be dealing with that also in these areas through tomorrow. We're gonna take a look at that forecast and just how hot is it about to get? I'll let you know, coming up, Andrea. Okay, on that note, hot, dry weather, gusty winds, that's pushed the Trail Creek Fire 20 miles west of Wind Wisdom to almost 5,400 acres. That's more than double what we reported yesterday. This fire was started by lightning, and fire officials are estimating that it's not going to be fully contained until October 30th. There are some area and trail closures, and you can find that information online. With fire danger soaring from high to extreme in much of Montana, officials warn any spark could start a big fire right now. The fire danger levels are based on a variety of factors, weather conditions, and the measurement of moisture in fuels. Going to extreme is a worst case scenario. There is a high potential for any fire to be of big consequence. Um, fires start off of any cause and spread rapidly. They are difficult to control and often a direct attack cannot be done. Um, and they burn with very, very high intensity. So any spark can create a big fire. 
Nearly 80% of wildfires this year are caused by humans and fire crews worry that a jet fuel shortage could force them to ground fire aircraft. Shortages are reported at tanker bases in Oregon and Utah. Officials say demand fell during the pandemic and systems haven't bounced back as fires surge. Starting this week, as many as 39 million families will have a little extra money in their bank accounts. That's because the first monthly payments of the child tax credit are being distributed, but parents should save that money or should they spend it? Really? That's the question. Here's Joe St. George. The child tax credit usually comes as one lump sum starting Thursday. Half of it will be distributed in monthly installments. It's meant to help parents offset the high costs of raising a child, like paying for child care or perhaps an education related expense for lower income families. It's meant to help put food on the table. If your child's under the age of six, expect around $300 per qualifying child each month. If your child's between the ages of six and 17, expect around $250 per child. Benefits phase out for couples making more than $150,000 combined. Parents, you can count on this monthly money through the rest of the year. It will be deposited into your bank accounts on the 15th of every month through December, with the exception of August. It'll come on August 13th since the 15th falls on the weekend. And for the moment, it remains just a perk for 2021, although some lawmakers here on Capitol Hill want to make it permanent. Financial experts caution, however, some parents should save the money if they don't necessarily need it. And here's why. Let's say you typically owe the IRS $5,000 in taxes each year. The 2021 tax credit is worth on average $3,000 per child, which means if you have one child, your check to the IRS would be for $2,000, assuming there are no other credits or deductions. But remember, half of that child tax credit is now being distributed ahead of time, which means next year you'll owe $3,500 to the IRS instead of $2,000 since you will have already been given that money. If you saved it, writing that check will be easy. If you haven't, well, for many, the tax bill will be a bit more of a challenge. If you aren't confident in your ability to save, the IRS is allowing families each month the opportunity to opt out of the monthly payments, giving you the money to use next year when you file your taxes instead. Some parents are doing that because they prefer one large check to six smaller checks. As for whether or not these monthly installments are here to stay, we'll find out in the coming weeks. Democrats on Capitol Hill are trying to make the monthly payments payments a permanent benefit for parents and include it in the upcoming infrastructure or spending bill. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George. In the Flathead Valley, health officials reported rise in COVID-19 cases, saying they're likely linked to social events and gatherings. Of the 453 active cases in Montana, the Flathead has 126, the highest amount in the state. Recent investigations show many of those new cases are occurring in clusters where people are infected or exposed at the same time. The Flathead Health Department is asking residents to help prevent spreading COVID. That includes following those CDC guidelines for self-quarantine and testing if you are not vaccinated. COVID-19 infections are again on the rise in the United States. The number of cases doubled in the last three weeks, and experts say the surge is fueled by the coronavirus's more contagious Delta variants. All right, we've got more ahead on today's new news. We're taking you to Butte, where the movie industry is hopping. And we're meeting some local filmmakers that want to keep the town booming in that way. But Miller is back in with a look at your statewide weather forecast.